Hey everybody, uh, Noble here. I kind of ran across some seems to be very disturbing information or situation. Um, but, but hold tight because really it's not all bad in the end. Um, but you'll know what I mean here in a moment, a few few minutes. Uh, my previous video, not a great deal of people seen it yet, I just got it out, I'm not too sure what it's up to. Um, I was going on about the how different the east coast of the US seems to me, a great deal of it, and it now being all this um, beaches and sandbars. And somebody had said in one of the comments, and actually they went and erased it, but I think they're right. Um, I thought that this land and, and sandbar area could have been created from from land being pushed up from the continental shelf creating these sandbar like effects um, but it was when I looked at this wing coming down I believe it's part of Maryland um, clearly somebody had said something about flooding and it, it just wasn't fitting into what I was thinking and and I'm, I looked at it, you know, from a little bit farther off at this particular point. And I'm like, you're right. It has to be something like that. The land sunk, or it was flooded and washed away or something because of the shape, right? Like this coastline here wasn't, it wasn't this, you know, round out here and flat on this side. Obviously this was a whole thing and still is. Um, but again, of course, still I don't remember it as, you know, this big open bay area behind it and of course the other extreme area of this being near Virginia and Georgia but of course it runs like a great deal of the US anyhow I was looking at this I'm like well if that's not there you know and if there was people there at one point let's say theoretically that would certainly have an effect on the population in the region and and then of course the first you know at the northern side of the east coast it was the Long Island that I see this effect starting first um, to the point that it was very noticeable so it's basically you get this sandbar beach effect here and a large open area behind it and originally, kind of like I was saying, I was under the impression like this is new and this is the original coastline. I, I don't think that's the case anymore, as I was pointing out there with the other peninsula. It just wouldn't be right. It wouldn't look right. It, it just doesn't make sense. It would have all had to been land if it wasn't this big area, bay area existing. So, I'm like, well, I wonder what the population is. And... I had already gone over this two months ago when I started with the Mandela Effect when everybody was talking about oh the world population is supposed to be nine mil or billion and now it's only seven and I was thinking no I'm, I'm pretty sure it was seven it was 19 trillion debt because um, it went quickly 17, 18, 19 and now it's up to 20 or more um, but I had actually mentioned this in my video, so um, not the world population, but when it came to the population um, overall, back then I had a way of remembering before I ever knew anything about Mandela, and I had used that once I had learned the Mandela effect in the first place about two months ago, and I even mentioned it on my video here from two months back. Um, October 23rd and many you know this was viewed by 5,000 people so far so a few people had seen this and I'm, I'll play this little clip for you and then just so kind of a bit of proof here and, and to show I had looked these numbers up two months ago I looked these numbers up I still think I must I might probably made a mistake on part of it um, but I'll explain that there, there in a moment so you can just take a little short listen here I, I just couldn't believe it 
and then come to find out, I've come to the conclusion, I'm pretty confident that there is no no great loss of life on the planet or the east coast of the U.S. Um, it's not impossible that maybe some, I don't know, lives get swapped around, souls in different places, I don't know. But in general, the population of Canada, New York City, United States, and the world seems to be what I remember it. And I have ways of figuring that out from one number to the other. Canada and New York City comparable, New York City being approximately 10 times for the country, and the world population having some similarities to the national... So, as I mentioned there, um, and I looked at the numbers at the time, unfortunately I didn't mention the numbers here, I certainly w wish I had of, but the numbers compare that the population of Canada was pretty much identical, very close to that of New York City. The population of New York City versus the rest of the po the whole population of the United States is about ten times that. Now, I think originally and at this point, I made a mistake. I, I have to I have to assume so, and I really had looked up the the number for New York. And, and, and was looking at the number for New York State as a whole and not just New York City. Although I, I would have swore different. But when I look at the numbers, like that can't be possible. So I must have seen just the numbers for New York. This is when it starts to get a little odd to me right now. Um, the population of Canada... And I remember the numbers. The numbers were um, sort of like the 34 and 35 kind of concept. And... And that's all I was looking, generally ballpark, right? And the numbers for Canada do are like the 34, 35 million. The population of New York City was supposed to be the same in my mind, but I must have screwed it up. The population of New York City is 8.5 million in 2015. Clearly, there's like, how the hell could you ever get 35 million? Although I would have swore differently, right? Um, but that's, that mistake isn't, isn't, is bad. It's, it's still bad. Because really, the population of New York State as a whole is 19.8 million. This doesn't jive. This is wrong. Um, something here is supposed to be around 34, 35 million. I would have to, like I'm saying, I'd have to assume it must have been New York State as a whole. It's supposed to be 35 freaking million people, and it is not. I'm telling you, I looked at this two months ago, and the population of the United States as a whole, therefore, should be 10 times that 34, 35 number, which is about 350, 340, 350 mil. The, the population of the United States is running more like 20, 25, but really would be like the 20 mark. So I have a, a discrepancy here. Um, yeah. So one kind of not not so bad thing is the population of the world is still at 7 billion but that's a big number so it's kind of hard to tell you know 7 billion and what right 7 billion is a large digit but when you start talking about 10 million people here and there that doesn't really show on a 7 billion digit so I don't know for sure um, and as I mentioned in that, that previous video, because I, I did hear stories around from a couple of hands, uh, stories around on, during the Mandela time, in the beginning of, of people seem like, you know, and I, I kind of just throw the stories as kind of, you know, probably junk. You know, I'm, not, I'm just going to put them aside because there wasn't a lot of them and it was a pretty extreme thing to consider that um, people would have more kids than they used to have, or less kids than they used to have, or people saying, you know, I swear I used to be somebody else, almost like a soul had been put in a different place, or maybe people swap bodies, or whatever, weird stuff like that, right? Um, the number of kids had come up a number of times, and again, not a lot, 
And of course, who's really willing to come out and say this if they really thought so, right? No one's going to say that, you know. I, I, I have three kids and I'm only supposed to have two, or vice versa, right? No one, not too many people even would ever come out and say such a thing if they thought so. Um, but I did hear it a couple of times. So, and, and I had said in other videos, and, and I'm still in, under the belief that we can't just be murdered with a Mandela effect. Um, but maybe our bodies can be, and we end up somewhere else. That's, I, I certainly put that in a, a decent statistical possibility. Um, but yeah, so I have a discrepancy here. The, popu the 34 and 35 number is still existing that I remember from two months ago. And with Canada, it's still holding true. And I'm going to assume I had made the mistake, and it's not it has nothing to do with New York City, although I really would have thought so. Um, but the population of New, New, New York as a whole is 20 million. And it's supposed to be 34 or 35 million. So we have a discrepancy here of approximately 15 million people. And on the, um, the whole population of the U.S., again, it's supposed to be 30, 340, 350. So, I see a discrepancy there. Of 20 or 30 million people. Which, quite honestly, is pretty hard to fucking swallow. problem is, I know I'm not mistaken, I can only hope that these people are really just somewhere else, which really doesn't really, only makes it so much better anyway. Um, so, what did I say with New York? Fifteen? 20 to 30 20 to 30 for the whole US I'm thinking it's this this used to be all solid land my previous video I was completely wrong in what I was thinking that this this area was was created no this area was lost And which makes a lot of more sense when you look at it from a distance. Again, I kind of made a video there before I sat back and thought about it for a day or two, you know. I only did it within hours. As you can see what I'm saying here, it would look ridiculous just to have this really thin little bit here. It was the whole rounded piece that should have been solid land. And, and, um, if you had to see my previous video, and it, 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 that concept holds, or matches up, or kind of holds true with some of the evidence we were seeing in, in the other video, whereas in this marshland in places, all over the place, we're getting these cutouts that, um, are shapes that are not natural, man-made shapes here. And let's see, for example, this is showing at three hundred and thirty feet.
3.30 there. I was doing this earlier. I was getting a lot of... Um, not not 3.30, 1.30. I was getting a lot of 120s and 115s. That's a 135. This seems to be a bit wider. But it, it seems like when this stuff, this stuff kind of gets a little mushy, so the sizes don't hold 100% the same everywhere. You know, kind of seems that way. It's still 135 there. I had a bunch of 120s uh, before when I, just before I went to do this video. Um, one second there. Actually, I think it was right in here, right? yeah. One twenty seven, one eighteen. When I come in here to this kind of typical lots, I guess you could say center of the road to this here split of the lots is one twenty. One twenty. I mean, there it's just some homes, but when you start looking at how vast this area kind of is, and how close it is to this highly dense city area, possible that the numbers could be in here, could have been in here. And of course all the marsh type of shit that's, sh that's showing here is the generally the right size and all marked, all of it is all. size. There's some normal shit. I don't know, there was some, some other shit down here. You can see it in my other video. That's all I want to say for now.